Hey guys, I'm Joe and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to do a quick Photoshop tutorial on how to extract frame layers from a video. Now this comes in handy when you're trying to do custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos and you want to use a specific frame or there's something in the video that you, you want to pull out. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got Photoshop opened up and basically the first thing that I need to do is I need to grab my video and bring it into Photoshop. So we'll go to the file option and under import you've got video frames to layer. So we'll go ahead and click that. So here's the video that I want to extract a frame from. So I'll just select it and click open. So now you have the import video to layers option panel open and you've got a couple of different options here for the range that you want to import. You can import from the beginning to the end or you can actually select a range to import. I would recommend if you kind of have an idea of where you where in the video you want to extract from I would do the select from range and then you can kind of figure out where you might want to be about and then you've got your slider for the beginning of the range and the end of the range. So once you've kind of figured out what what range you want to import go ahead and click OK and Photoshop will open it up. So down here I have the timeline window open and in order to get that window uh, you'll go up to windows and right here is the timeline option. You want to turn that on. You don't necessarily have to turn it on. You can always use the layers panel to view all the different uh, all the different frames as layers but I find it easier to look at the timeline it allows me to quickly click through and figure out which frame I want. So we'll go ahead and say, hey, I want frame 17. So now I can come over to the layers panel and basically I can select that, that first or that last layer basically. And then I can scroll all the way down to the layer after the one I want. Select all those and I can either drag them all to the, the trash can or I can just hit the delete button and then I'll go ahead and do the same thing for all the other layers and we'll drag those to the trash can as well. So now I have just the layer that I want from the video. So now it's just a matter of doing a simple export and I'll export that as so now you've got the, the export window and you can choose your format and some of your other settings as far as your image size your canvas size um, but for the most part we just want to stick with the PNG format with the transparency and we'll just go ahead and hit export all and we can name the file extracted video frame and click save so that pretty much does it for this video if this is your first time or you're a returning user that hasn't subscribed previously please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and if you want to stay up to date on our latest content go ahead and hit the bell icon thanks for watching and see you next time.